Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're on page five. Page five. And it's going to go this direction. I was just looking. I built this out of order. So I just want to make sure that I've got it going the right direction with what's on the back side. And is that right? Five, six. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is page five. We're going to center. these two flaps and these flaps are five five inches this way by six five by six you're going to score a half inch so you have a four and a half by six inch finished panel and I just put a, um, a mark on the center of this page and a mark on the center of the flap I'll line those up and then we will line the second flap up off of that like so And then we need to add some magnets. easy okay we've got this beautiful piece of paper which is I think I forgot to tell you on the other last page this is from the 8x8 collection pack from the Patterns and Solids. And solids and then um, this is what we're going to do down here this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack And then both um, the top and the bottom are going to be this pink pattern, which is from the Patterns and Solids. Make sure I've got it trimmed out. I do. Lovely, lovely.
my neighbors are having some um, external work done to their house. And so I've had workers out front for the last week or so. And Nala's on overdrive, so I apologize, but there's really not much I can do about it. Every time she hears them talk, it's, you can hear. <laughs> we have a very quiet neighborhood, so she's reacts violently to the slightest amount of noise because it seems out of place. All right. You know what? I did all this without verifying. Gosh darn it. Put this on upside down. We're going to have to live with it. I checked the other page and I didn't check this one. So, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was panicked. I'm looking at the words. It is the right way. Ooh, I thought I did it upside down. Um, I looked at the side and I saw the butterfly and I'm like, oh, it should be going this. Oh, it is upside down. So live and learn. Ugh, terrible. Um, I have to, I'm, I can live with this being upside down. It's not as obvious. But you can see this is upside down. Oh, man. These, I did all this whole page upside down. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. That's what happens when you get in a hurry, and it's my fault. Pay attention to what you're doing, not to what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to go with it. It's too late. I can't I can't lift those up without completely ruining the page. So it is what it is. I'm going to live with it the way it is. Most of these are going to have photos on them anyway, but pay attention to what you're doing. Don't get in a rush like I did. Um, and that is... And then we have a 5 by 7 insert that needs to go in there. Is that right? No, that's not right. That's It's just a, a, a plain page, sorry. So that's it. And then here is the accompanying page. Is that right? Yeah, four and five. Yeah, four, five, and six. So, wow, what a bummer. So one of them has to be upside down. I just have to decide which one. Actually, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Well, I'll decide when I go to install it in the book. But it is what it is for now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. Take my advice. Take your time. Don't rush through like I was. I'm uh, I'm really anxious to get this out, and I that was just a dumb mistake because I'm in a hurry. So I'll be back soon. Uh, I got two more pages to finish, and this album is complete.